Holla peeps, it's your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. I really am on my way out the door to go to the gym. I just wanted to come at you one more time, tell you I love ya. I love you so. And I will be back shortly. Hopefully there's not a spin class so I can use that room. Baby can take me for you guys. It's um, tough work. Holla. Holla it's been. So the city is $18.5 billion dollars in debt. A significant Wait. portion of that debt is... I have one more cigarette before I go. ...funds for public employees are underfunded. A spokesman for one of those pension funds says the city manager has been hasty, or the emergency manager has been hasty in going to this, uh, uh, these uh, Chapter 9 proceedings uh, while they still hadn't even gotten into negotiations about the debt. Still, Kevin Orr has made it clear that he is indeed in a hurry. He's on a timeline to get Detroit solvent, and he's only got a total of 18 months to do it. Trace? Mike Tobin live in the Midwest today. Mike, thank you. The fugitive surveillance leaker Ed Snowden has not ruled out asking for Russian citizenship. <laughs> That's the word from one of his lawyers. But today, a spokesman for the Russian government says, quote, it's news to me. And last report, Snowden is still holed up in the transit zone of the Moscow airport, where he's staying. I could just do 45 minutes in the dry sauna. And here in the U.S., because you burn like a hundred calories every 10 minutes that you're in there. They have taken new steps to prevent more massive okay. leaks of secure surveillance. That's what's up. The head of the National Security Agency, General Keith Alexander, calls the people do bring their electronics in there too. But I know Baby won't bring the phone in there. At the Aspen Security Forum in Colorado, Catherine. And you know what I learned too in there? Talking to people. If your phone gets wet, just put it in a bowl of rice overnight. And it'll work the next morning. You know how many phones we sent back because they dropped in water? I mean, how many phones did you send back and pay for? Because you dropped it in water. When all you got to do is put it in a bowl of rice. Dry rice. Obviously. It may not be uh, obvious to the average person. Sure, well, Detroit is a border. It's on the border with Canada. Those Canada's girls know the deal. There. Of course, Detroit was the airport in which the infamous underwear bomber was going to land. Now, I put my eyes so, in. Not only does it match my sauna suit, but when I sweat, if I don't have my eyes in, it burns and stings my eyes, and I have to stop and pat my eyes. But with my contacts in, it's like saline, the sweat. So it doesn't bother me. Makes sense? Good. You don't want to lose sight of that very important Power. Especially with a uh, border chance. So let's talk about the NSA. We heard I can just sweat without wiping my eyes. Uh, just let that shit drip really off me. Off my lashes. Off my nose. Tactics, off my chin. Fallout. Do you yeah. think that that is in any way an overstatement or more an understatement of the impact of the leaks? No, I think it, it's it's a dead right. I think General Alexander recognizes, and we've seen this historically, that leaks that indicate uh, anything about the way in which we surveil adversaries and a baby immediately to change their tactics. That's how you roll. Alert. And <coughs> one of the General Alexander did quite effectively was that things to do specifically that both the program to collect telephone billing data and a program to have non-American uh, an email address. But I like the taste of beer. Cases and disruptions. So bring it to me. What about the argument that when you collect so much data, as he said, you want to have the state haystack to look in the need for the needle, but there really is uh, efficiency. And, and people are consistently pointing to the idea that the Boston case is kind of the poster child for the kind of case that the NSA programs really ought to detect. Well, in that case, of course, there was an issue about a warning from a foreign government. When Maybe I should the ask them if they'll let me take. But if you look at the way the program generally operates, you're collecting a lot of data. But I mean, I can be discreet about it, you know? Go to little places, little crevices in the gym where there's nobody else, you know what I'm saying? The connections might be. And that's not a total solution, but it is a very important jump start to a real investigation. Uh, and finally, I want to talk about uh, the whole baby's thing. pretty she's good about getting like just me. That she's gonna and go she all August September time. She frame. is. Um, there are a lot of names that are out there. Um, 
What skill sets do you think the new secretary uh, is going to have in light of the new emphasis on cybersecurity? I, I think certainly an understanding of the cyber issue will be important. Now I do. Where, uh, where are my lipstick? Some law enforcement domain, uh, perhaps in the area of immigration or perhaps in the area of uh, the FBI or something of that sort. But the most important thing in many ways is experience working across agencies, working with state and local government, working with the private sector, because that's really what the key to success is for the Department of Homeland Security. Always. So someone who, um, in many respects, Always wear my black lipstick. Captain, that's absolutely important. I think one of the great and no, I won't suck your dick. Well, that's the most important thing. Because 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 that's the most important thing. You do not want to have a political operator as you think about anything. You want someone who is a professional, who understands professional operations, has good ties to the law enforcement and security community. As long as you got a good hook and it rhymes. Question on our panel this morning, we talked about the nature of the Speaking of, go purchase Love Lullaby. Go to www.shereenbaby.com. Holla. I sign each C D personally to you. I think we're going to see more <clears throat> attacks that are aimed at perhaps lower scale targets, but perhaps lower targets. And we've seen that not I only I think those cigarettes are packed in Europe and in other places after all the banging. And that's going to mean more and more integration. All right, peeps. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, be back with you on the other side, hopefully on a spin bike. Okay. Love you guys.